Southwest stories and investigations from where you live. From cab drivers to flab fighters, can community health clubs bust the region's obesity problems? Getting in and out of the car was exercise enough. Temptation's always there, and it's why does it taste so good? The Rugby World Cup kick-starting careers for the young and jobless. We follow the hopefuls. I'm just going to stick with it and see how it goes. And hopefully I'll um, come out with a job after it. And the epic journey to mark one of Plymouth's most historic events. Can you imagine 200 years ago, Napoleon, right here in Plymouth? I'm Gemma Woodman and this is Inside Out Southwest. going to do about the obesity crisis which is costing lives and putting a serious dent in southwest health budgets one option is to spend more public funds on weight loss clubs for those who are struggling to shed the pounds inside out has been following one group of plymouth taxi drivers who are hoping that their club can turn them from fat cabbies into fit cabbies push, 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 push. Roger, the salad dodger, is being put Three, through his paces. Two, one, okay. He's one of 12 taxi drivers from the same firm who signed up to a community weight loss program. This is torture. They all have dangerously high levels of internal fat, and that's what can cause diseases. The most serious and the most common is diabetes. Being obese is also associated with high blood pressure. <laughs> with heart disease, what up, what up, what up? arthritis of your joints, push, 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 push. and also with a range of cancers. Three, two, one. You're considered obese if your body mass index is 30 or over. With a BMI of 68 and weighing 29 stone, Roger tops the table. It's time. I'm nearly 50. It's time I lost weight. Really time. Ahead of Roger and his colleagues is an eight-week intensive course of exercise and dietary advice. Oh, one more time round, one more time round. Push, 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 push. Health fanatic Gavin Seymour is their trainer. Okay, switch round. He set the group a challenge. They always do this big blowout in Benidorm every year. Most of the, the guys on, on the programme are involved in it. And they know that I, I'm not really a heavy drinker. Oh, I, don't, I don't really drink at all. Gavin's promised the group that if they each lose enough weight, he'll go with them on their next Benidorm holiday. For them, that's quite motivating. I said to them every time they have that, that you know, a cake or anything like that, that's going to be, that's me one step further away. Hello, little cab. Where are you going? Get out of that. See you soon. Until recently, this taxi firm was like any other, working long antisocial hours and unavoidably sitting for most of their shift, the staff reached for junk food to get them through. Getting in and out of the car was exercise enough. Um, if you had to go into a shop to get a newspaper to keep up with current affairs, you'd know nine times out of ten of a chocolate bar, a packet of crisp, a bottle of coke, all bad for you, all extra sugar. But uh, temptation's always there, and it's why does it taste so good? You know? But then something made them think about their health. Any current bum on you? Boss Liam Sheeran started to shrink. <laughs> See you in a bit. It's a cool picture of me from last year in a Benidorm. Before my lifestyle changed to what has changed now. In the nine months he was on the program, Liam lost almost ten stone. So how does it make you feel now looking back at these pictures? Uh, ashamed in a way, I suppose. I've never been one for looking at photos anyway, to be fair, and it's all about looking forward now and not looking back. For his workmates, he's been an inspiration. Yeah. Most of them have joined him on the programme. Right, where are we off to, Oliver? Entertain, please. Oh, I love a bit of shopping, me. And have switched the processed snacks for the good stuff. They've gone from pasties and pork pies, and now, as you can see, we have lots of fruit, which we buy by the pack, and that's always in the car, 
And I've also got myself ice cream tub full of nuts and raisins, all the good proteins, all good stuff. For Mike Davis, a.k.a. Rhino, it's an opportunity he's been waiting for all his life. I'm actually going to make a stir fry with a bit of curry curry seasoning, a bit of couscous, because I haven't got any quinoa. Couscous. Couscous. The food that's so good they need it twice. Rhino discovered he was hearing impaired at age five. At school, his hearing aid set him apart. And I went from being just a normal kid, if you like, to what I felt like an outsider, just like that. And... I still remember the bullying and the torment that I suffered. The name calling, the, the jibes, made me want to come for you. And then because obviously I was coming in, I was putting on more weight. And then because I was putting on more weight, they then found something else to, um, to bully me for. Now, with the support of the other cabbies and his family, he started taking care of himself. His girlfriend, Georgina, has watched his transformation. I was tired, um, and he's much more happier in himself. And he tells me that every day. <laughs> and Rhino's got another reason to lose the weight. He's about to become a dad. Not long. Not long at all. Well, it could happen any day now, really. Could happen within the next ten minutes. That's your problem. <laughs> and what's the verdict on his new healthy cooking? Nice. Never trust a thin cut. From here, that's it. Push, nice. Roger has the toughest challenge ahead. Drive, 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 drive. Good, 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 good. To help him reach his long term target of losing 15 stone, Gavin is working with him one to one every single day. Left bit, now go under, now go under. You're yours. Good. Rustic training, this is. It's not like going into a gym running on a treadmill or cycling a bike, it's, you know, it's intense. Well done, well done, well done. No, I've done exercise, but never I guess. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Good. Roger realised he had to do something about his weight when he contracted well pneumonia and was hospitalised earlier this year. And they weighed me when I was in there and I was... 31.6 stone. I couldn't believe that. Three. Without the support of Gavin and the group, Roger thinks he'd be in big trouble. I'll be just another person sat at home or working, you know? Not exercising, eat what you want and carry on going as, as life is going until it ends. Pit stops at this burger van are what keeps Roger fueled up during his long night shifts. Evening, Sean. Evening, Roger. All right. But these days, he's counting the calories. Bottle of water, please. Okay, buddy. Check out the up. Normally, I would have had a burger or something or a hot dog, but I don't touch it no more. No, just stand here and yap with him now and then. You've got to be really proud of yourself, mate. Oh, I am. Because it's not easy. You know, it's worth working here, I tell you. <laughs> Full of enthusiasm for his new challenge, Roger's convinced he'll lose that 15 stone. But according to the experts, mm. he might need to lower his expectations. Yeah, I'm not too bad. About 30% of people who go to a 12-week, once-a-week, sort of slimming group type of programme lose 5% of their body weight. So they're probably losing half to three-quarters of a stone. So it is really quite modest, but it's the start, is what I'd say. Half a man of what I was. Someone like Roger has the most to gain and the most to save the NHS. It all depends on how old you are, how heavy you are, and how much weight you lose. But actually, if you take somebody of about age 50, even if they lose just one kilogram in weight and they can keep that weight loss off, um, it can be cost effective. For the cabbies, it's crunch time. 
Has the past two months punishing regime yielded the results everyone's hoping for? Your fat mass went from 31.45 yeah. to 27.65. Done it for everything, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mike, like step on, please. Next up, it's Rhino. Okay, straight away, that's a over three kilo loss. Take handles by your side, bring them down by your side. Your metabolic rate has increased, which is fantastic. I'll admit it, no, there's times I wanted to kill you, but... But it's been worth it, because it's brilliant scores. Well done. Roger takes to the scales last. That is 19 kilos of weight loss. So that is essentially 2.97 free stone. That's a man. It's working. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. Free stone. Working out, eating the right things. It's it's working. Yeah, I want to get there. I think I'm going to reach my goal. I hope. In just eight weeks, the group collectively lost almost nine stone, <laughs> which means Gavin is one step closer to Benidorm. Yeah. And a little thank you gift from everybody. How's it? To McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> that is a training pack it's for when, when we go uh, to Benidorm. Uh, is it? That is the drink of Benidorm. Excellent. Fantastic, guys. Really, really happy with uh, you. The cabbies will keep up their training with Gavin for at least the next six months. After that, it's down to them to keep the weight off.